So yeah, we, <laughs> uh, Nebraska is so wide open, like there's nothing, nothing close. And so we're so used to just driving everywhere. And like I drove 35 minutes to, to high school every day. I mean, it was, that was normal for me. And so like long drives, I, I enjoy them. I, I really enjoy driving too. And what's really nice is my wife and I can sit and chat and bullshit about anything, or we can sit and not talk at all. <laughs> yeah, 30 minutes would get me, wouldn't even get me across town here. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's, it's too damn big. There are people in this town. Okay, so like our downtown is 12th Street to about 50th Street, okay? And then from 50 to 72nd is considered Midtown. Or, well, okay, we'll say between like 40, we'll say 42nd to 72nd is considered Midtown. And then 72nd to 108th is considered uh, West Omaha. But Omaha actually goes to like 200th. 200th Street. So it goes from like 12th Street to 200th Street. Okay. That is how you know when you can enjoy silence together. Exactly. Um, and there are people who live in Omaha who never, hey, tang, uh, tangible creativity. Thank you, tangible creativity, for that follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the apocalypse, where Paul just talks endlessly and so is puppets today. Normally it's just Paul just talks endlessly and does other things. Um, yeah, there are people who won't go past 72nd street. Didn't even know that, you know, don't know what's past there. And it's, the city is huge, it, but it's not big. Like it's, it's sprawling, but there's not a lot in it. You know, it's, it's weird. A lot of residential areas and stuff. And there's tiny like businesses and stuff everywhere, but it's not, it's just really spaced out. Yeah. My wife and I can definitely just sit in silence. I don't know. Enjoy each other's company. I have made some puppets, but they don't even come close to what you're doing. You would not believe this, but I don't actually make puppets. <clears throat> this is, I mean, I've made 10 now, but just in this last year, I, I make whatever people ask me to make tangible. And uh, my wife asked me to make puppets for my kids for her Christmas a couple years ago, two Christmases ago. And I'm like, okay, sure. And so I figured out how to make puppets. And then, uh, I've sold some since then, but I'm like, I'm not a puppet guy. I just, you know, I just make the things that people want that they can't get anywhere else. So, um, it's kind of my, my thing. So I have a, a weird skill set, and I don't mind learning new things. So these are actually from, uh, these puppet designs are the basic part of these puppet designs are from a guy named Adam Crudinger. Okay. A D A. Actually, I'll just give you the damn site. It's a lot easier to follow. Um, let me see if I can get it, grab it here. Burr, burr, burr. Uh, burr, burr. Okay. Here you go. So, uh, really cool guy. Uh, makes really good puppets. Very good YouTube information there. And, uh, you can, uh, <laughs> it looks way better than you expected. I guess that's a compliment. Um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, but he has some free, uh, puppet, uh, patterns and stuff. And it's a good springboard if you've never done puppets before. And you can pay for some puppet stuff too. And his pays, it, you know, what he charges, really damn cheap for what you're getting. Now, there's, it's a lot of work, don't get me wrong. It's, you know, it's still a lot of sewing and stuff like that. But um, pretty easy to follow instructions. And uh, he's got a really good tutorial on how to create your own, like, super, super custom design ones. Um, I haven't gone that route. I know what that guy charges for puppets, and I'm not charging anywhere near that. And so I just keep using this basic form, and then we create the faces from it. Um... But yeah, it's not it's not hard to 
to learn here. Okay. So that's my secret, guys. I'm using this other site to get my patterns. <laughs> but I'm also very much the guy who says, work smarter, not harder. And if somebody's invented the wheel, I'm not going to reinvent it. I see no point. And this guy went through the hassle of showing you the how-tos. I could... Well, yeah, I, I mean, you can go out and buy books on how to make puppets. And this guy's just using the internet to do the thing that you got to do, you know? It's like, well, that makes sense. So, uh, but yeah, so you can make some really good good puppets there. Um He's got ones on like like puppets for like inanimate objects. He's got a free tutorial on how to make like a cardboard box puppet, you know, or you know like milk carton puppet, that kind of stuff. It's, it's actually really informative stuff. So um, he makes it look really easy. It is not, <laughs> but you know you do anything for hundreds of hours. And this guy works for television and that kind of stuff. So I mean he's that's that's what he does. Um, I work for you. Okay, then we got the eyeballs. Like that. And should we white felt these and then tack them on? Probably. Even though I kind of like the glossiness of them. Because if we do glossiness and then we've got... I'll paint them on, but... Come on, I know I've got some in here that are pre-cut. Yeah, maybe we can find some feet. There you go. These aren't the actual eyeball bits, but... So you can kind of get an idea of where we're going with it. Um... So how many hours do you think you'll put into this puppet? Uh, well, I cheat, Tangible. Uh, I use a laser um, to cut out all of the foam and the fabric. And so uh, that saved me hours and hours and hours. But I have four of these to make, so that's why it makes more sense to kind of go that route. Um, I've been streaming for three and a half hours now. Uh, when we started streaming, I started with basically... Um, I put together the cardboard inserts here. We glued up some of these parts here because uh, I was having issues with the glue sticking, so we had to kind of re-glue them all. And then we inserted the cardboard stock, so we started with this. I had the felt, damn it, Paul Pate Designs. Um, I, uh, I had the felt already sewn because I hired somebody to do that. So it takes about, uh, 20 minutes to sew these parts. The laser helps because it actually embeds the pattern onto the fabric. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. I'll, I'll show you. Where's that camera? So if we look, uh, burp. so if we go here, if you look, you can see that there's a line here. It's kind of etched into the fabric. That's actually where the pattern line is. So when they went to go sew this, all the my the person that I hired to, to sew it, it's a friend of mine. Uh, so she was able to follow it really closely and quickly. And so it was not hard for her to put it together. So pinning it and all that. And so the hands and 
uh, the head and all that stuff. It took her about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then uh, we've been working on this for three and a half hours. So that was me starting with the foam, adding the insert, and then start and then putting this together and then just kind of fudging it together while I'm talking to everybody. So how many hours in all? Uh, probably about 10 per puppet, 10 to, 10 to 12 hours. So I know it's a long way to get there, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, that, 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 that's my answer. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's a long winded response to that, but, um, the laser does help immensely because it also cut out all the foam but I think it also added an issue which is why the glue wasn't sticking so <laughs> um, okay so we want to also do like eyelids on this guy but we want to make sure that they're happy eyelids so we're gonna have to do that kind of an eyelid. So it's still got the upward push of the, of the, the, so it's still happy eyeballs, you know, and so we'll, we'll, you know, sew all that down. So it'll be a, a happy eyeball as a, as a, but it's still an old guy eyeball, you know, if that makes sense. And then the hair that we're going to do is this, we've got white fur hair that we can use. And then we'll also be adding ears to the side, you know, so if we take this one here and do the same thing, Now he's got, he'll have a neck, so that'll make a huge difference when we when we get in there as far as the the neck goes. But um, you know, the the question is is see, I kind of like these glossy white eyes because then they look like they've they're they're glossy, you know. And I think that uh, you know just having that foam there is okay. Um, so if we do this one here, because you can still see them, but they have that re that bit of reflection to them, and I think that that makes a huge a huge difference uh, as opposed to having them all matte, you know, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we, should we cover them in a, in a faux fur or something like that? Yeah. Picking your nose there, sir. Um, so should we do a, or, or, or just leave them that kind of glossy white that's on there. I kind of like the glossy white. I don't have a problem with it. I think so too. So we can just glue them on into place. What does the faux fur look like? I'll go grab it. It makes a mess because it's faux fur, but faux fur. Where did I put you? I had to hide you because the cats will get to it. So probably I tied it up in a bag. Oh, and I got like actual professional puppet arm sticks too, which I can show you guys. Um, oh, I think I put it in the back room. Let me double check. This isn't it, but it looks like yeah. It looks like this, so it, it's this, but I just don't know where the bag is right now. I gotta find it. It might be upstairs. Might have left it on the counter, but um. So it's just, uh, 
you know, it's just this white for like this. Uh, but because this guy has, uh, his hair is a little bit more uh, spiky. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the ref weird reflection of the screen there. But uh, what we'll do is we'll end up putting it on here and then trimming it so that it sits upright like that. He almost looks like you know, Waldorf or whatever. We just got to make sure he doesn't look too... Uh, don't they make pre-made puppet eyes? I could print my own. Yep. Uh, I don't... Yes, you can buy them and I can print them, but they're all usually round. Cover the eyes with white felt. So if I was to cover the eyes, it would be in a material that looks a lot like... Um, let me grab some here. It'd just be this. So it'd just be adding more matte to it. Okay. I think the shiny looks better too. But yes, they make pre-made Muppet eyes, but they're typically round. And I think that when you cut your own, you get more creativity out of it. I think it looks, yeah. And he has a tongue that goes in here too. I've got the felt for that over here. Oh, I also have conversation starter questions that I bought. <laughs> so when we stop talking about things, I can just bust open the conversation starter. Where is... Oh, here it is. Well, in front of me. But the felt is a lot whiter. It is, but I don't know if I need that, you know? I don't necessarily need it to be uber, uber, uber white. You know what I mean? I like, it doesn't need to be that for me. So he'll get the, the little tongue in the mouth too. And the other guy will get teeth. Um, the only problem that I would have with the, the velour is that it would be really hard to get the pupil into it because you typically have to paint them in because they don't want to show up otherwise. And then they'd be like a weird fuzzy one. And then also whatever you use to adhere it would kind of show through because it's very thin. I don't have it right next to me, but um, it's a very, th that velour for some reason is very thin compared to all the other velours that are out there. All right, I don't really have velour. I've crushed pan A is what it is. So I'm such a precision that I'd probably design and print my own eyes. I've done that and I've, I've printed them all. That's what I did for the boys puppets, but it's missing something. It's it's the it's again that 3D print issue. Is it just is missing its life? Whereas I got, um, you know, I cut these out of foam and I halved it, and they look they look fine. I mean, I, I don't they look wet, which I like. <laughs> His eyes are actually blue, so we'll do blue dots instead of the brown ones, but. Just kind of gives you it, so you can see pupils. It just makes it look a lot better. So, the the wet look is nice, and it's foam, so it's not going to go anywhere, you know. Um, but I do need to glue them down. So, uh, but I'm wondering if he looks too old. I don't think so. It just looks happy. Yeah. No, I don't 
don't think he looks too old. Uh, my Muppet Whatnot had plastic eyes. It was disappointing part of the puppet, and eventually they fell off. Well, I just make resin eyes, Ananda. I just 3D print them in resin. They just don't look as they don't look right. It's the it's everything's handmade. So then if you put something that's digitally made up on there, it doesn't look right. I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. My kids are running around like crazy. <laughs> Paul has everything. My new resin printers are showing up soon, so they're too perfect. Yeah. I, I don't want them to be perfect. I want them to be handmade. To be missing that little bit of something, something. All right, so we're going to pull these off. You know, I think he definitely needs the eyelids. So, okay, so we're going to glue these on. if barge is the best way to go about this. Hot glue would work. Hot glue, summer in the city. The back of my neck looking dirty and gritty. Um, break out the hot glue gun. How much are you charging for the puppets? Eh, we don't usually like to talk about prices here on stream. But I would happily tell you if you PM'd me. Why is that, Paul? Because there be trolls. Yes, I am going to keep the sharp edge on the eyeballs. I like the sharp edges on the eyeballs. Now, on the other guy, we might do completely rounded ones. Uh, on this guy, I think it's important that we keep the nice hard edge. I think they, they look nice. So if you PM me either on Discord or uh, on, on, on Twitch, I'll answer your question. But I don't like to post them on, I don't like to say it out loud. Because I've got clients here who watch the stream. One of these puppets is actually for somebody who's on stream. And they may not want people to know how much they spent on something. So that's all, that's all it is. Uh, I don't care. I'll talk about my money all day and all night. I don't want to talk about anybody else's because they may feel about it. And also I found out the hard way that if you post the prices on like social media somewhere and then 10 years down the line somebody asks for the same thing they say things like well but you only uh you only charge this much for it you know it's what it says on that website i'm like that's 10 years ago <laughs> so yeah quit doing that all right i need to use the restroom again i'll be right back hot gun hot glue gun is heating up anyway so let me go use the restroom and do a quick brb everybody stretch Go stretch and get it something to eat, something to drink, whatever. I'll be right back.
Thank you, everybody. Sorry about that. I thought I pressed it. It didn't take. Um, so, like I was saying, my son has an issue with his hoodie. He likes to eat the uh, hey. eat the string on it. So we're going to rebuild his aglet. Um, and then he also needs to re-thread his uh, hoodie string into here. So we're going to re-thread or re-aglet this. I happen to have some plastic tubing that we can uh, shrink. So I'm going to heat it up here. That did not shrink the way I wanted it to. Darn you, curse you. All right, we're gonna use shrink tube then. Shrink tube. All right. Did it melt? Uh, yeah, it, well, it shrunk the wrong way. It was supposed to get thinner, but it instead it decided to get uh, shorter <laughs> instead of long, instead of, so. There you go, quick. Now's your chance. Throw it in the garbage so we can't wear it and stink all summer. That's what the stream says. I'm just reading what they write. He can hear you. <laughs> there we go. Okay, then we're gonna use a drop of stupor glue. Kind of lock it in there. Okay. Ooh. What? Uh, the metal bit that's supposed to hold my like hoodie string in place. Here. And it rolled. Yeah. That happens. And I was like, where is it? And it's on the other side. The grommet. The this is why I had a girl. She rotates through five hoodies so they're relatively clean and not smelly. Hey, I have like ten. Yeah, and I know, but you only wear one until we tell you you have to take it off. That is not true. <laughs> okay, so Xander, yeah. let me show you how to restring a hoodie. Okay? You need something like this. Long tube, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take a little bit of tape. So we got this tape here. Okay. Cut a little bit of that off. That needs to go back upstairs. So mom has it. Okay. okay so we're going to take the tape. We're going to wrap around the 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 string first. Okay. Okay. Just once. And then we're going to uh, go right to the end of it like okay. that. Okay. So we're going to kind of. Stretch this around a little bit. There we go, just like that. And then you want to start wrapping the tape right. around the tube like this. So you have a tube with a really long aglet. Got it. Okay. I'm going to cut this piece of... Actually, I should just roll right off. There we go. Now, give me your hoodie. I'll hold my breath. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, so we have it. So you have your aglet hole or your grommet there. Mm -hmm. And you just... Yep. So we're just taking that long tube and we're just going to shove it all the way through and then we got to find the hole on the other side like that. Now, hold the other end so when you're pulling it through you don't lose it. Okay. Okay. And then you just unwrap that other side. Got it. Thank you. Tra la 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 la. In his defense, it's dope hoodie. I know. Just giving you a hard time, dude. So, uh, this is actually, uh, there you go. So now we have it on both ends. Now, if you w wanted to, you could tie a knot so that it doesn't come through again, but now you know how to fix it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. This is actually a really cool hoodie. Uh, it has a do not disturb thing that you can put over your face that's inside the hood. So if you want to take a nap, you can. It also has 25 pockets. 25, that's the number. Okay, so they're in their magnetic catch here, um, and then there's tiny pockets everywhere. There's like iPod pockets and there's pockets inside of pockets. 
there's actually a channel to run wired uh, things through it, but it's a Scott E vest is the the jacket. So yeah. I can't seem to find another one of them. Nope, they don't make that one anymore. So. Dang, it's one of my favorites. Since the stripes don't match up at all. Yep, the stripe pattern is kind of wonky to Wonkity. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, I was a. Uh, I will. I will get you the website. How's that sound? iPhone, iPod, whatever. It's, it's a cool site. You'll look at it and you'll be like, whoa, what's that? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy. It's, uh, I actually own their winter coat, too. Uh, I own two of their hoodies, gave them to him because they're a little bit big. Uh, and then I own uh, their winter coat, which is nice. You can fit a full-size iPad. And that's what I said, iPad, not iPod. But you can, it has an iPad pocket. You can fit a full-size iPad in the pocket. It's great when you're going into like a convention center or like a sports game and you need to have pockets and they don't, because you have to have the invisible bags or whatever. I just put my stuff in my pockets. Now with nice things comes price, but you know. Nah, nah. And it's actually a really well-made uh hoodie too. So, uh, I'll give them props for that. Um, the heat gun, the hot glue gun is hot, but I want to show you guys these. So this is the, uh, professional hand hook for puppetry. I went and bought one of these. So this basically latches onto the arm and it's a metal rod so they can actually perform with these. Bought it on the Amazon. So you've professional hand operator as opposed to making them out of sticks which is what I used to do so it just made a lot more sense um, I'm like somebody has to have made these I'm like, oh look they did <laughs> now I don't have to build it unless it's money then it's a nice surprise down the road free money exactly all right so here we go let us apply hottie glue Hopefully it doesn't melt through my foam there. Get that to hold in place. Second verse, same as the first. That is some hot, hot glue, guys. With all these pockets, wouldn't it be front heavy and over and it jangles a bit when you jog? Eh, no, because they're actually really tight pockets. Like there's all the pockets, they have like a place for a water bottle. It's got a elastic band in it to hold the water bottle against you and stuff. So no, uh, most of them are really, really tight uh, to the body uh, or to the pocket itself. So they're like small enough to just fit so it doesn't, everything doesn't move around. Yeah. No, they're really good jackets. I do recommend them. go. All right, I'll let that cool down a little bit. We can unplug that. I'm wondering if we should just hot glue on the eyelids. As well. At least to the foam part. Except that the hot glue is so hot, it's melting the foam. The 
Paul likes to buy everything. So I said Paul. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. It, I, 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 yeah, I will buy. I, I probably have anything you're looking for. <laughs> so my son loves inheriting things from dad because he's like, hey, look, dad's got random whatever. I'm going to wait for that hot glue to kind of cool down a little bit before we go to the other eyelid. And we will stitch the top part of it, so... Sure, they're evenish. I know it looks a little blown out to me. I don't know. Let's see if we can adjust the. No, that's not what I want. I want. There you go. That's better. Looking to see if anybody uh, messaged me. They did not. Okay. <laughs> So now we're going to let that cool down just a little bit, and then we'll sew those. And then we have, we'll do some eyebrows, but just be tiny eyebrows. They don't need a lot there. And then ears, and then that head will be done. No, we don't want to do, we want to do tape on that one. Let's do tape. Tape. Mm. Do I need to bust out the conversation starters game that I bought? My wife's like, what did you buy that for? I don't want to play that. I'm like, I bought it for the stream. So when everybody stops talking, I'll have something to talk about. <laughs> You're all over on uh, scottyvest.com buying your new hoodie. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, somebody give me the, the what for on that one. Give me the... I'm dying in bed with cramps. Oh, I'm sorry, Kazakh. 
making a meal plan. My wife got hit with some bad ones last week or a couple weeks ago, and she's like, I never get them. I'm like, damn, all right. Um, stupid stress. All I can do is send condolences. I have no way of uh, relating to that, and I will not pretend that I do. I remember one time I did seven days of straight dairy and vegetables and I'm allergic to cheese. And on that seventh day, I thought I was gonna die. So I, if, I, if that's anything like it, then. Oh yeah, it's been announced that the verdict is in. It will be read at 3 p.m. local time. Is that my local time? Is it raining? Oh, it was a rainy day, oh, okay. Good. I mean, nobody's going to jail, so it's not like uh, uh, anybody really had to be there. So, in Virginia time, okay, so that's East Coast. That's gonna be two p.m. So, right when I finish. My kids are not drummers unless I'm streaming, I swear. Then they're like trying their best to uh, show me how much they really want to be in band. <laughs> My son has got auditions for School of Rock this weekend, and he needs to sing a song because it's a musical audition. And so he's going to sing Aluminum Foil by Weird Al Yankovic. So I needed to uh, find the sheet music for it. Ah, sheet. Uh, which they don't have the sheet music for it, but I found the music for Royals which is what it's based on. So I assume it's, or like a piano accompaniment, not necessarily sheet music, but a piano accompaniment to uh, Royals. So I think that'll work, but then we've got to convince him to actually practice. Because he'll sing it along with the song, but I'm like, it's different when you've got a musician, like a live pianist playing it for you there. So you got to practice, boss. And he'll hem and haw about doing the audition. He wants to be in the show, but he's, he's he gets nervous, so he doesn't want to get his hopes up that he'll get it or anything like that. So then he'll, at the last minute, he'll tell us, well, I don't really want to do it. <laughs> it was a lot like when, uh, when he did dance class. He's like, I really like the dance class. I don't want to do the recital. <laughs> Like, no, I understand that. When I took piano, I was the same way. It's like, I really want to learn piano, but I really don't want to go up in front of everybody else and play piano for y for them. I want to learn piano for me. Uh, Wife's Theater. It's going to be one of the first shows in the fall. The School of Rock. So... Which it wasn't until we raided that other streamer who used to do costumes for community theater and hated it um, that I realized that when I say community theater, everybody thinks of like low end gorilla style, no budget theater. And I keep forgetting that, like, no, this is like a, they have like an annual budget of like $2.5 million. So it's like a legit, uh, it's a legit theater. It's the largest community theater in the country, but um, it started as a community. It's more like just a regular theater now, but it's called the Omaha Community Playhouse. So. 
sounds like me, not super confident with regards to performing. Uh, you know, he's he's a kid. He's nervous about performing, and I, I get that. You know, but the thing is, is like he's a he's a ham, so don't know where he gets that from. Um, he has no problem performing. He just gets the anxieties before performing, which is you should. That's why I got out of the acting because I didn't get those anymore. Um, and so. Uh, I think if he gets past the audition part of it and actually starts doing the show, he'll be fine because then he'll have a lot of fun. He'll see that it's, you know, it's exactly what he thinks it is because he loves watching theater and I think he wants to be a part of it. He auditioned for Kinky Boots, but he's, even though he's 10 years old, he is giant. All of our kids are way bigger than, uh, than you would think they should be. They're a head taller than almost everyone in their class. Um, and so... He was too big to play the 10-year-old in the show. I got, uh, are you and your wife both super tall too? No. <laughs> no. My wife is 5'6", and I'm 5'11". I was just really tall as a kid, and then I just stopped growing. Like, there's no one over six foot tall in my family. So, I got mocked when I was three and a half years old in pre-kinder by the kids who accused me of lying and being seven years old was taller than all of them. There you go. That is, that is pretty dumb. Yeah, I was always that one really super tall kid. But I was also a bean pole, so that didn't help. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. It happens. If you want to meet for a coffee or anything like that, Tropical, we're fine with that. Meet you on the way out of town if you want. You know, um, yeah. We're friendly people, I promise. She just doesn't want to get wrapped up in a four-hour, got to stream this, stuck in the hotel with nothing to do, and my wife has no interest in streaming situation. to have a four-hour conversation. <laughs> well, trust me, it was not that interesting. I think we had five people watching the stream, and it was painful. <laughs> Tesla trunk is roomy. It wouldn't be that bad.
It's getting there. Definitely getting there. Plus, we'd be walking. It'd be really hard to tie somebody up, duct tape them, and then walk them around until we got back to the car. That'd be that'd be really hard. That's that's too much work. Boys are back to watching Clarence. <laughs> They're like, it's good, Dad. I'm like, I, I guess it's the same as us watching Ren and Stimpy or anything like or Beavis and Butthead when we were kids, and their parents are like, what the hell are you watching? It's really good. You just don't understand. <laughs> really? <laughs> I did not like Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead I watched. I, it was dumb, but I watched it. But I just could not get into Ren and Stimpy. I don't know. Then again, it wasn't until I had kids that I even got into, like, Spongebob, so... are actually bad just need to re-watch them after you've grown uh those shows are actually bad just need to re-watch them after you're grown up oh i didn't watch ren and stimpy he did that on his own yeah Sorry, and I, I know I'm out of frame here a little bit. Just because he gave up smoking for a few decades, he never gave up, and then it probably had, ah, gotcha. Mm hmm That's funny. I remember in high school, there was this girl I knew, and that was her big family secret, is that her dad smoked pot. And she was so ashamed. She wouldn't let us out in the house on some days because, you know, it was just a parent. It was like her big evil family secret. And I don't think any of us would have cared one little bit. <laughs>
Okay. Now we need to do ears. Let me do some ears. And then we got eyebrows. Okay, what time is it? 1.15? Yeah, we got time. I'm half tempted to go upstairs and sew them. Because it would be a lot easier. Still quiet, all right, cool. Mm. Y'all feel free to talk anytime. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I got to cut this one on my lap. It's just too much fabric to put on the table. Oh, okay, hold on, I break out the cards then. Foam, the eyeballs, Kazakh. The eyeballs. All right. We're supposed to keep score? Nah, we just want the cards. I can continue to list the cartoons my father really enjoys watching. <laughs> All right, so these are just random things. Like, it's supposed to be like you're on the hot seat, so people would ask you a question. So they're just generic -y questions. Like, what is something you wouldn't do for a million dollars? What is something you would not do for a million dollars? Undress, eh? Hey, they're gonna kill someone. Stream, really, for a million dollars. You wouldn't stream for a million dollars. Like if I said, hey, you can stream, I'll give you a million dollars, but you have to take up streaming full time. You you and and I'll pay you a million dollars. Oh, you have to do it for one year. I'll pay you a million dollars for one year, three streams a week for one year, you wouldn't do it. I mean, kill someone's pretty pretty straightforward. I mean, that's sure. Nope. Might kill, though. <laughs> Seriously, if you just had it right in front of you, you didn't have to stream to anybody. I wouldn't because I'd have to pay the bills for one year while waiting for the million. Yeah, there are a few who deserve it too, but sadly, consequences. Fair enough, fair enough. I'd do it for 10 years. I already did, though technically I didn't own it. 
There you go. He killed people for 10 years. You heard it here first, kids. He killed people for 10 years. All right, give me a second. I'm going to run upstairs and, and uh, sew these real quick. You'll hear it. I just, uh, and I'll curse a lot, but it'll be a lot easier than me just hand sew. Whee! Black thread, perfect. Super elegant there, Paul. Let's see how it inverts. Looks fine. Okay. All right, and then second ear. Here we go. 